the Dubai PC and today I'm making the Java tutorial for you guys. So today we're going to actually start coding a little bit with the Hello World program, the most basic program you can make in any programming language, which we start off with usually and I'm, I'm going to be no different because Hello World is a very good program to start with. It's, it actually does something and gives you grasp some of the main concepts. So there are three things I want you to understand after this tutorial. Well, there are comments, classes, and methods. So comments are things that you can add to your program that don't affect it whatsoever and there's purely this organization and it's good to use to make sure that you don't lose track of what your um, code does, especially when your code starts getting really long. So the way you can make comment is I type in slash slash and then type in stuff after that to form your comment and that doesn't affect, doesn't affect your program at all. Or you can press slash star to start it and star slash to end it. The advantage of using the slash star technique is to is that it, it can take multiple lines while just putting on slash slash will take up only one line. Now the second thing I want to, I want to talk about was classes. In the beginning when you first start your job you're going to think of classes as the same thing as the entire program making and up until our 10th tutorial that's basically going to be true. Only for with HTML, HTML you surround your whole HTML document with various HTML and in Java it's sort of similar. You're going to have all your code defined within a class and but for, for now you can do it. It's, it's okay just think of it as the same thing as the program. We'll get into using multiple classes later on. And the third thing, third and last thing I want to talk about are methods. Methods are the same thing as, pro as functions if you're familiar with programming at all. It's in every other loading language it's called functions, like Java Legacy Specials, they call it methods. Methods are used to perform actions. So for instance, if you're familiar with the game Minecraft, I guarantee you they have a method somewhere in the code that says create block for when you create a block. So you use the create block method to create a block whenever you want, want to do that in the game. And that's one of the more complex, a complex version of methods, but there's some really simple methods that we'll be learning how to create um, soon that maybe just add two numbers or something like that. But we'll, we'll get into creating methods later. For now, I just want you to understand that methods get something done. And the main method is a very special one. When you start a program, the main method is what the crew is going to search for. The code in there is what's going to jumpstart the program. So we're going to define the main method and we're going to use a method called println and we're going to use that to print stuff on the screen. So, with all that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so today we're going to start programming. Now, before we start doing that, um, know that this is going to be our setup with, with Java, or at least this is the setup that I'm going to be using. Over here you have a command prompt so you can compile and, and run your programs, and over here you're going to have your preferred text editor. Now, you can work a job with any text editor. Um, I remember when I first started, I was using the standard version Notepad that comes default on Windows, and a lot of people use NetBeans or Eclipse, but I like using Notepad++ because it's kind of nice because it has color coding and that kind of stuff, but at the same time, you're not going to become relying on the program as you would with Eclipse or NetBeans in that you'll get these jobs down menus in order to choose which code you want to type and that kind of stuff. So you start off with a standard new one file and you gotta save it as something. So go to the place where you want to keep your files. I, I like keeping all mine under under one Java folder and we're gonna call this one hello world. I'm, I, I'm gonna call it hello world.java and then you can go to all files. If you want you can leave this Java off and just find it down here but I find that's a lot quicker just type it down since there's a lot of things that Notepad++ is compatible with. So keep in mind that Java is case sensitive so you gotta type it down exactly as I put it with with capital H and capital W. And now we're going to name our class. So we're going to say public class hello world. Also another thing that's important, make sure that this is spelled exactly the same way as the name of your file, otherwise it will not compile. So this defines a class and everything that in your code will go between these brackets. One thing I forgot was I'm going to put a comma up here in order to state as the hello world program. Standard hello world program. Now this isn't necessary. It won't affect the code at all because it's a comment and I'm not usually going to put comments up here, but I want to make sure you guys understand that you, you have the option of putting comments here and you can do it by doing slash star star slash and anything in between it will not affect the code at all and as you can see the notepad plus plus turns it green which means that it's a comment not affected at all and now we're going to create our first method public static void main string args. Now I imagine this looks kind of overwhelming, but bear with me. Everything in here has a specific meaning, but for now just sort of imprint this on your mind and put it down every single time, just just like that. I'll, you'll be learning about the meaning of it later, but for now it's a little bit too complex. But what you need to know is that this is the main, is the name of the method. This is called a method, which is, means you can use it to do actions in Java, and the name always becomes between these parentheses. And so this one's the main method, and the main method's very special in that whenever you start a program, the program will look for the main method and it will run that in order to start the program. So make sure you understand that. And now we're gonna type down system.out.println abbreviations hello world semicolon. Okay, this is, I'm sure, it's equally imposing in that this is another method, but unlike the main method, the main method we're defining, we're saying when, when you run the main method, do this, but this one, we're just saying run this method with this as a parameter. And what this will do is, when you, so you put between the brackets, 
it'll print whatever's there out. And another thing you need to know is that whenever you perform an action like this, you gotta put a semicolon after it just to so show Java that you finished it because it doesn't know by spacing out lines because if, if you do something like this, it, it sees this as one line right here. Yeah, I put a semicolon and say that you're done. All right, so now you know what the print element method is and we're gonna put a little comment here saying, um, prints stuff out. This this is a different type of comment than the one we use up here. This type of comment can only be used with one line because you see if I go down to the next line, it's no longer a comment. This, so this type of comment works multiple lines. This type of comment only works one line. So now that's all for the program. What this will do is it'll print out hello world. So go back over to command prompt and um, there are a few tricks you need to know about navigating command prompt. Command prompt use, uses, I don't know if you call it programming language, but it's called DOS. And some things you need to know is, so I type down cd dot dot. Generally you put a name after cd, so cd desktop will navigate me to desktop. If I put on cd dot dot, it'll move me up towards the previous one. So I just typed out a few times so I get to my C drive. And I'm gonna navigate to where I saved hello world dot java over here. So it'll be cd java cd and also there's a space in the name, SP abbreviations, otherwise it will not work. And unlike Java, DOS is not case sensitive, so you don't need to worry about that. Alright, so now we're in there. A couple things that, um, a couple more things. Now you know two, two different codes, I guess. You know CD dot dot, which bring you up, and you know CD plus a name, which will navigate you downwards through the files. And another one that, that I use a lot is CLS. This will clear whatever you have, and it will keep it more organized and less... And another one I like to use is DIR. This will show everything that's under two Hello World. So these are all the files I have in there right now. That's the, that's the abstract concept I had earlier, and this is the Java file that we just made, and this is the TXE, it's my little cheat sheet, showing everything you need to do. And if I go see dot dot and press on dire, these are all the tutorials in this series. And so that's our, that's a dire is our third little DOS trick. And do you want, I'm gonna teach you one more. Color, this really isn't necessary for anything. I, it's just, I like using this. And you can say zero, A. Now these are, these are two numbers. They can range from zero to F. So it's go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it goes A, B, C, D, E, F. That's called hexadecimal with 16 um, per digit or rather than 10. The first one is background color. Second one is the font color. So if I do this, it'll change the color to green and the background color stays black. But if I type on color, uh, let's see, 3B. See, change the colors. The one I prefer is color E. If you, do, if you just do one, it'll change the font and make the background black. And those are, that's all the little command prompt prompt tricks. There, there's a lot more. If you want to, you want to know about them, you type in help, and it lists all of them out for you. So now we're gonna, we're gonna compile our program. What compiling means is converting it from code that we can read to, to code the computer can read. So it will change to bytecode. So the way you compile it, the command for that is Java C. Java compile. That's what the C stands for. And then we type down the name of the program we want to compile, which is hello world. Dot Java. J dot, dot Java part, it's very important. If you don't put that down, it will not work. So, type and enter. And it doesn't put anything down to me, it's that it compiled it with no problems. And before we run out, I want to point out, if you type on dire, now it shows the dot class file. That wasn't there earlier. That was created by doing this Java C command. And it's a dot class file, which is what the, because we created a class just now. And you, when you run Java programs, you're, you're running the class usually. So, now I want to run it. So, type Java, hello world. You don't need to put dot class. As a matter of fact, put dot class, I believe it'll give you an error. So, just just know that I, it's kind of, it seems kind of weird because one, one requires you dot, jo, dot java is required when you're compiling it and you don't need dot class when you're running it but anyway that's how it works and if i press enter that's hello world and there you go that's that's just a cool little trick to learn in the beginning and now on to the challenge for this challenge co um create and compile another um java file called hello world 2 and program in a way that when you run it, it says hello and then your name. For more tutorials like this one, please subscribe and please rate and comment on the video in order to support the channel. And if you um, if you want some, some more challenges in order to help you get better at Java, please check out my website at sinforge.co.